in real life and how on earth do I end up on the playa with a bunch of lunatics? In real life, I do uh, orthopedic surgery, sports medicine, a lot of lecturing and teaching on medicine. People wanted to know me, not what I did, not where I live, but know me. They wanted me to hang out, they wanted to share pieces of art, share food, share drink, and share experiences. And without knowing me other than I had landed there and was walking through, every person was trying to be better for every other person at Burning Man. And that was my very first experience. I was only there for a weekend. Uh, and I knew on that very first moment I would come back. tall, hundreds of massive vehicles driving in the desert with incredible effort. And I decided I wanted to build an art car. Little did I know what I was going to get myself into. Never did I imagine the amount of difficulty, love, complexity, and reward which would occur. All of us simply equal out there, uh, with money meaning nothing, and no one really knowing who you are or what you did till it was long afterwards. Until uh, I landed by plane at Burning Man, uh, and they picked me up in uh, the new rig. And, uh, and the joy and the smiles, right, and the giggles that happened incessantly, as well as everyone at the Burning Man Black Rock City Airport, uh, was obscene. And immediately, everywhere we go, every music we played, people just smiled and laughed and just were completely enthralled at this um, creature we unleashed on the playa. That was the whole concept to have one to go out and about to cities and parades and stuff like that. Again, show people what is possible with a little bit of imagination, a little bit of heart, a little bit of love, right? And make people smile and laugh and see the silliness and see the side of, um, of Burning Man that could be possible in their everyday lives.